Hello everyone and welcome to another Top 5 Records video and another one in this series in which I'm talking about the albums in this book, the thousand and one albums you must hear before you die. And today I'm going to talk about a Faces album that is in this book. A nod is as good as a wink and the back of this record reads to a blind horse. This is a German pressing of this album and I bought a couple of years ago um, just to find out what was going on because it's, it's in the book and I wanted to hear it. And to be quite frank, I was not really thrilled when I heard this for the first time. I don't think it's bad. It's by not at all a bad album, but listening to it, I, I seldom had the idea that something special was going on. Yeah, I, I understand the idea that this, this is sort of like a bar record. You know, the, a band in a bar and you're boozing around with friends. So what did I do? The second time I gave it a spin was with friends with a lot of beer. And it worked. You know, it worked. It's, it's a nice record to have in the background while you're drinking beer. But never did it take demand any notice during the beard uh, situation um, and there are loads of records which are pretty good for having a beer with so I gave it a third spin today and I got some notes the record starts off uh, with Miss Judy's farm and it's okay it's nice it has a certain edge to it um, a good bar song, but never is there anything that really jumps out until you get to that one hit single on this album, which is Stay With Me. And Stay With Me sounds incredible. That song on this album, it has a beautiful power. Rod Stewart's voice is just incredible. It's a beautiful recording. Everything fits. My guess is that that song made this album the hit record it was, because it was the best-selling album by The Faces. And it's a beautiful song. And the rest of the album is somewhat okay. It also has moments which I just do not believe. There's a song called Debris. It's, I believe it's written by um, yeah Ronnie Lane. I believe he's also the one singing it, and it's bullshit. I mean... He's not a good vocalist. And you have someone like Rod Stewart in the band. Why the, would you want to sing that song? I mean, it starts off as an interesting ballad type of song, you know. And I, I want to listen to it. You got my attention. But he does not have the depth and the emotion, the voice. Apart from not having a very pleasant voice either. So why am I listening to him singing? I mean, he does it three times on this record. It's It's... Unnecessary. Then there is Memphis, the second song on side two, which is a Chuck Berry song. And I noticed this is dull. This is uninspired. I mean, it's never terrible, but listening to Chuck Berry, I noticed what was missing. And that is the urgence. You can even hear it in Rod Stewart, who's not completely into it. So, why is this album? In the book. And this beautiful, beautiful other thing. Chuck Berry, Berry on top, is not. I mean, the, the idea came to my mind when I put on, uh, the, when I listened to the Chuck Berry song on this album. That is the essence of rock and roll. That is what inspired these guys to go into a bar and to start uh, singing these songs. And Chuck Berry, I mean... This album is legendary, it's brilliant, it's one of the core essences of rock and roll. Did not make the book. Now, it makes me wonder. I, I do not understand it, because this one has songs like Carol, Maybelline, uh, Johnny B. Good, Little Queenie, it goes on, a roll over Beethoven. So many great rock and roll songs, and I hear Urgence when Chick Berry is singing. And I don't necessarily always hear that with Rod Stewart. Another thing which made me doubt is why is... A knot. Oh, a knot is as good as a wing to a blind horse in the list. And this one, 
beautiful, beautiful first step. Not, I mean, if you really need to have a Faces album in there, and I think they mean more to the, to the, to the UK and to British listeners than necessarily to me as a Dutch or European listener, or, well, um, if you necessarily need to have one, why not this one? Because this one sounds smooth, it sounds good, it has more strength, it has more power, it has more urgence, and it is such a beautiful, gorgeous sounding record. Still, I would go for the Roots of Rock and Roll, which is, I mean, I miss Roots of Rock and Roll in this album. Seriously, in this, in this book, I, I, I miss the origin which is much more powerful. But if you want to need, if you really need faces, go with this one. So, my final question. A knot is as good as a horse. And, oh, fuck. Sorry. A knot is as good as a wink to a blind horse. I really hate to pronounce it. Doesn't belong in this book. Thousand one albums. You must hear before you die. For the first time, I'm going to say no. I do not think this album belongs in here. It's not a bad album. It's a nice record. I like to have it in my collection. But I don't think it's the, fa the best of the faces. And I don't think it represents rock and roll the way this album needs to rep or This book needs to represent rock and roll. So, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.